Right. Uh, yeah, we're talking about all kinds of stuff. Uh, that's you know, a, that's we, a good idea, we, we had a lot of fun doing that episode, and I think, you know, we might be able to count on several more of these movie things that, you know, uh, we'll be doing here pretty quick. And, uh, you know, everybody likes that because everybody likes the movies and everybody likes when other people discuss the movies. And, and then you start yelling at the, at the, you know, the radio or the screen and say, you fucking moron, you left out, blah, blah, blah. You know, that kind of thing. Cause there, and, you know, everybody participate. Yeah. And it gives people right? a reason to go back and watch the movies. Right. It does do that. You know, for which we receive no compensation. Zero. That's right. Right. Not even a T-shirt. They don't even send us a hat. Yeah. I had to buy that hat. Where'd that hat go? Where's the the Nostromo hat? Yeah, let me have that thing. See? Come on. Good shot. Never mind. (laughs) The hat says Nostromo on it that I had to buy. Really, Scott didn't send me the fucking hat. I had to buy the. How many copies of of the the final cut and Aliens have you sold? Prometheus. Oh, oh. I mean, what? There's, you know. Oh, look, it went up. It got on the table all by itself. See there? I don't know. Uh, yeah, and they've, you know, they haven't sent you a thing. They hadn't sent me a goddamn thing. I'm waiting on my purple mattress, though, my free purple mattress from all the ones I've hey, sold. Hey, you know what? How many, how many, now we're talking about some, all right, well, I was talking about this, that. How many pairs of weightlifting shoes do you think I've sold? Well, yeah. No shit. How many... Tens of thousands of pairs of weightlifting shoes has Ripito sold. You know how many pairs of weightlifting shoes were available to buy in 2005 when I started talking about all this shit? You know how many pairs were? None. Right? None. Right? And then Ripito starts talking about weightlifting shoes, and suddenly everybody has to have a fucking pair of weightlifting shoes. And what does Rogue do for Rip? Rogue, who sold thousands of copies of these fucking shoes. What does Rogue do for Rip? Not one goddamn thing. Does anybody, does Adidas, does Nike, does anybody's ass do for little old Rip? Nothing. That's what. They do dick. They do exactly dick for Rip. Hey, really, though, where where did people... In 2002, did you have everybody wearing shoes? Where'd they get shoes? 2002? Yeah. At I mean, the gym? Yeah, at the gym. You could buy them from Adidas. Yeah, there's two or three places you could get a pair. You'd have to. I mean, oh, like, uh, uh, the Olympic weightlifters have always worn them. So right, there, was, right, yeah. there were shoes available. I'm talking about in the volumes that they're. Oh, no, yeah, I get it. You know, I got it, yeah. That they're sold now. Right. Ever CrossFitters got three pairs. Right. Right. They buy them every six months. They yeah. have to. But did you did you did you force or encourage people to buy shoes back then, or was everybody running around in like? No, I told shoes? everybody to wear because everybody that trained with us just realized you need a solid sole if we're going to do these lifts. So they just go they find just them. Figured something out, you know. 